Good morning, everybody. What's up, Houston? How are you guys? Thanks for coming out this morning. <clears throat> you know, I like to do this. We'll jump right into it. Uh, who's got the first question? Go ahead, Joe. Questions for uh, Gray Maynard first. Um, during the countdown show, you mentioned that you, know, you don't want to talk about this fight. You're tired of talking this fight. You don't want to have any small talk. And we're three days away from this fight. What's your mindset right now heading into this boat? I feel good. Um, I'm prepared. And that's where, you know, I feel uh, uh, as if I'm, you know, I'm prepared. So I'm good. You know, I'm not like, oh, uh, I don't know if I did this right. I don't know if I did that right. You know, everything is all done. It's about time to have fun. Question for Frankie. Um, the record shows you're 0 1 and 1 against Gray. What do you believe that you have to prove to everyone that this guy does not have your number? Yeah, you know, I don't think he has my number. I think the last fight showed that. You know, uh, if he won last time, yeah, then I'd say, uh, you know, he had, he had my number. But uh, I just got to win. You know, I go in there, I win this fight, you know, I put that to rest. Dana, can you talk about the main event? Because there's been so many guys on hold waiting for title shots that we finally might get some resolution to this uh, division. Yeah, nothing sucks worse than a draw. I hate it. And uh, it, it's finally here. We can get this fight behind us and, and uh, get some of these fights going on in the 55-pound division, too. Like you said, it's stacked. There's tons of talent waiting, waiting for a title shot. More talent coming. And uh, we'll, get it, we'll get it going here after Saturday. Go ahead. Question for Chael. Uh, Chael, I think right before you came in, we heard you say on the uh, video that you kind of struggled with this fight when you were first offered it, didn't know what to do. Uh, I was just hoping, could, could you detail that? What, was there ever, were you ever thinking you might ask for another fight or, or turn this down? Oh, I mean, look, nobody wants to fight Brian Stan. You know, I, I'm not the only guy, and that's not a big secret, but our, our paths are going to cross sooner or later. Um, he, he keeps beating people up, and, uh, and so that's just the way it goes. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, I wasn't, um, you know, Brian's not going to get called out by anybody, and I'm no exception to that. And I guess kind of the obligatory question, when, when a guy's been off this long, are you worried at all about how the layoff is going to affect you in this fight? Uh, I've accepted it. You know, I, I think ring rust is a real thing. I've accepted it, uh, and, and I'll have to deal with it. And just lastly for Brian, uh, Brian, a lot of people look at this fight and think, uh, you know, Chael, strong wrestler, is probably going to come in there and try to take you down. I'm wondering uh, how much you've worked on your wrestling and you feel like you've improved in that area. Well, fortunately, I started working on my wrestling uh, quite a bit two years ago. And it's been, you know, probably the heaviest uh, trained art in my training camps for the last two years for obvious reasons. So if I tried to just train wrestling for the last 10 weeks, then I wouldn't have a chance against them. But luckily, I've been hitting it hard for the last two years, and I don't have to out-wrestle them out there on Saturday night. Um, I think sometimes when, when odds makers and people keep telling me about this fight and how big a long shot I am, I think people forget that, you know, I even went back to my bout agreement and checked, but I can punch in this fight, so I feel good. What a ride it's been since the last time we saw you at a press conference. What's it like to, to finally be back and fight week and all that, and the fight's just a, a few days away? What's it like for you? Uh, you know, it, it didn't feel like all that long for me. You know, I got put in timeout for a while, but I'm, uh, I'm back, and, you know, I'll deal with it. You know, that's the, that's the way it goes. I've been in government for a long time, and when, when people are above you, you, you sit there and, and you shake it off and you come back. But, you know, the next fight is always the next fight, and there's, there's no telling when, when that's going to be. You know, whether you're lucky and you, it's three months away like it's supposed to be or, or you've got to wait a little bit, that's, that's the way it goes. But I'm not the only one. You know, Frankie and... Uh, Frankie and Gray have been out for 10 months too, you know, and it, you just got to deal with it. And I don't, uh, I don't ever sit back. I've never been the victim. I'm not going to complain. Uh, I'll deal with what comes and, and take care of business to the best of my ability.